Right, I'm out for a few holes with Jamie today. Today we're going to talk about club head gain. How we can gain efficiency and power in the club. Head. Swing. Let's go. Chunk my ball. So club head gain. Club head gain is when we take the club back, we get into X position the way back, so club's parallel to the ground. The distance the club is from my body at that red line is the width of my swing on the way back at a position where the club is parallel to the ground. Then when I come back down, my body turns again to here, and now that blue line, compared to the red line, is the distance I have gained. That is club head gain. The more that distance we gain, the more leverage we have, the more we're holding on to that leverage. Not necessarily lag, but the more leverage we have, which equals more power, probably more speed, but also the body has to turn through. The body turning through is going to make that red line to blue line difference much greater. So gain, gain's a good word. We gain, as I say, efficiency and distance. So I create my width back to red line. Up to there I've created this L shape now, so I've got leverage between club shaft and left arm. Then from there my body turns back through, 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 through. I still have that L shape there, but you can see the gain from blue line to red line that I've got from body turning through. Let's hit one. There. There. Okay. There's a lot of gain there. I can feel that power I've got. I can't feel the gain, but I'm aware it's there. If I slowed my video down, sorry, just checking, there's somebody coming, but it's fine. If I slow my videos down and I look at some of the players I coach, the right arm straightens too early, so they come back to red line. They go up here and then they straighten the right arm too early and then you can see there on the way down their back at red line there is no gain. So then club heads passing the hands, low points all over the place and they've gained zero. Once we start throwing the right arm straight on the way down or coming over the top that's when the red line becomes back to the red line. We don't gain the red to blue line distance. And of course when we're at red line, back down to red line, the club's now going out of the way and then it comes back in towards golf ball so path is then changed. We're getting the path going to the left, we get slices, we get pulls, all sorts of things. So it's trying to create as much distance between red line and blue line on the way down. One thing to be careful of though. An important thing to take into consideration here is don't try and get the red line too far away from you. We don't want to sway off our swing centre, we don't want to stay on top of the golf ball. We don't want to move too far away with that red line on the way back. I mean obviously the further back we're going to go, the easier it is to create the gain. But if we go too far back to create the gain, then we've not gained anything because we've just gone further back than we normally go. It's all about getting the blue line to move away from the red line, not about pushing the red line further out. So it's not about pushing this red line further out here to come back down with a straight arm to gain that much. That and that, that's no use. That's crap. So normal position, good. Red line, we've got it. Up to our L shape. Turning the body back through, I'm still centred over the golf ball to there to create the blue line for the gain. And then I'm straightening the right arm now to get into a straight line there with left arm and club shaft and not get into the red line and come back down straight in there. So I'm straight line and right arm straight, no gain. Okay, there we go. Guys, that was a quickie. There's people behind me, I'm really must go hold up whole golf course. Um, I hope that makes sense. That red line, don't push the red line too far away. That's not the idea. We're not trying to create loads of width by pushing the red line away. We're trying to gain or create the width on the way down. Create the width on the way down. Create the difference between red line and blue line on the way down. That's far more important than trying to sway and push that red line far away.
Who cleaned it? Guys, please subscribe to the channel. You just hit the button below, subscribe. It's free of charge, you don't have to do anything. It doesn't cost any money at all. So subscribe to the channel. Also the bell notification, if you hit that, you'll get all the notifications of my videos, so they'll flash up on your phone every time I post a video. And the little bell icon, please, oh, that is the one we're talking about. Thumbs up icon, hit that.